Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello all. Welcome to RoboThoughts Robotics Vision Intelligence on Jetson Nano Zero to Hero series. All right, guys, we are on lesson number 26. ROS Robotic Operating System. I am going to show you how a specific feature called Teleop Twist. Okay. So this is basically uh, basically this particular feature in ROS is used to control your robot remotely using your keyboard strokes. All right, guys, and it's going to get interesting more. And I'm going to show you a couple of commands how to install Teleop and do the configuration from the basics. And we will also load a couple of motor driving codes into our Arduino and make it to connect and talk with our Jetson Nano so that we can start controlling our robot remotely. All right, guys. So let's get started and I'm going to share my Jetson Nano. I have already logged in. There you go. Okay. Let me just expand my screen and there we are all right guys so first thing we need to uh, obviously install ROS serial I hope you guys have already installed it I did show you a couple of steps how to install this before but in any case I can walk you through very quick how to install ROS serial once again and then we will get into the teleop stuff all right guys so uh, the the basics uh, the basic stuff is obviously to install your uh, uh, the melodic package which you already installed and how do we install ROS serial on top of that right so sudo apt space apt minus get space install ROS minus melodic minus ROS serial all right so I am not going to hit enter because I had already installed and configured it and it's setting up it's it's perfectly working so I do not want to take a risk of installing once again and create a parallel package and stuff like that so it's better to avoid so in any case you guys can follow this command I am going to leave these commands in the description below through my github link you may take a look at it so once your serial raw serial package is downloaded what you need to do you got to make a folder okay so you need to make a folder called src that is a source so how do you do mkdir space minus p and then a squiggly space squiggly forward slash ross s e r i a l ross serial underscore workspace w s forward slash s r c all right guys once you execute this command is going to create a separate folder and then you need to move the main folder into the subfolder which you created how do you do that it's called cd space squiggly forward slash ross serial <coughs> underscore w s forward slash s r c all right so once you hit this command you are moving the entire download into this particular section all right now what we need to do <coughs> there are a couple of important drivers which you which you need to download and configure along with your ROS serial uh, because those are the things which is going to activate your teleop when you are operating through your keyboard so the command for that is we, we, we are getting into github and clone that particular repository of drivers and download it it's called git clone https colon slash slash github dot com forward slash ross minus drivers forward slash ross s e r i a l ross serial dot git 
all right guys once you hit enter you are going to clone from that particular github repository grab those drivers it's going to get into your jetson nano and then what we need to do we need to create another workspace that is cd cd space squiggly forward slash ross serial underscore ws this is the workspace which we created in the beginning of this lesson we are going to get into that that is the cd in okay we are going to change our directory and move into this particular ross serial underscore ws all right guys once this is done what you need to do is make you need to execute the make command in your catkin workspace all right which we created already which i showed you how to create at the beginning of this series when we started installing lidar and t265 and kind of thing if not you may follow this all right it's catkin underscore make all right once you execute this it's going to compile and run your driver packages and stuff like that and you are all set to do now what we need to do we need to get into the source folder that is source squiggly forward slash ross serial underscore workspace <coughs> underscore workspace forward slash devil forward slash setup dot bash okay so this is basically you will be introducing this package to ROS, your main ROS core, which is already into your Jetson Nano. Uh, that is your uh, uh, melodic uh, really version. So you are going to introduce this package to the main source. All right. That's how it works. And then what you need to do, the final one, the most interesting one, you got to install Teleop. So how do you do that? it's called sudo i have already installed so i am not going to execute this command i am just showing it to you guys apt get install ross minus melodic minus teleop okay minus twist minus keyboard all right so this is the package it's it's a kind of sorry no it's not actually a package you may call it as a package but it's actually a feature which is built in within ROS. so you are extracting this you are going to install it and then once i hit enter this is going to compile everything into your main melodic source all right guys so i'm not going to install i am going to delete it back now what we need to do now there is a separate code about 30 40 lines of code to execute your motor drivers and sensors and stuff like that using arduino so and the code is i'm going to leave this code into my github you can just take a look at it let me just minimize this terminal and then let me open my arduino yep so this is the basic sketch where you are including your ROS header file and, and your Arduino hardware.h, the header file which comes as a default. And then you are declaring the pins for your motor driver. All right. So you may use any of the drivers, guys. It doesn't really. I, I have tested with about uh, four or five different types of drivers and it, it works perfect. So you can use L298D uh, driver, which is the low cost version, which absolutely works fantastic. Not an issue at all. All right and you are declaring your uh, the subscriber and the receiver uh, package and once that is done basically you are executing command to control your uh, uh, motors through the keyboard through teleop right so your teleop will launch another node your ROS main core will be working on a different node and then your subscriber package and the talker package will be running on another node so this will be, this will be communicating with each other that is how it works all right so this is the this is a very basic code guys i'll i'll leave it on my github and you can take a look at it it's pretty simple and those who do do not follow the arduino code which is basically c and based on c c plus plus I'm going to give you a heads up. I'm starting a parallel series very, very soon. I'm getting a lot of requests from my uh, viewers 
uh, thanks for the feedback uh, stating that they want to get into Arduino programming from the basics from the scratch so I'm going to teach that so not to worry at all so you can parallelly follow that all right guys all right now what we need to do let me just minimize this let me execute this command and then I will show you how this works so basically once you load this program into Arduino through Jetson Nano uh, you need to run the ROS core so how do you run right click I think the terminal is already open let me just open the existing terminal let me launch ROS core and there you go the core service is started and then minimize this do not close the terminal open another terminal and in this you need to set up your port to ensure that uh, your ROS serial client is passing the messages from Arduino to ROS alright so how do we do that ROS run ROS serial underscore python python serial underscore node dot py space forward slash dev forward slash tty and my port is ACM0 in your case it might be USB0 or USB1 but in my case it's ACM0 so double check before you execute this code guys and then let me execute connecting connecting raw serial python node okay all right my node is set up now it's asking for the subscriber command so now let me minimize this and then I am going to launch my teleop in a new terminal all right let's see all right so how do i execute teleop ros run tele t e l e o p teleop underscore twist underscore keyboard and then space teleop underscore twist underscore keyboard dot pi there you go boom all right guys fantastic we can see the keyboards reflecting and and this <coughs> terminal is going to tell you which key to use for which direction of the motor right which direction you want to move around and kind of thing so how do we test i have not connected my uh, motors so let me show you a trick how do we check that so if, if you if you basically scroll in this terminal it says reading from the keyboard and publishing to twist and this is already published into the main ROS core and talking to Arduino internally with the code which we uploaded already right and now see here it says moving around press the keyboard U I O J K L M comma and then dot okay and there is also another mode basically holding down the shift key and up and down and kind of thing so you can just practice this guys it, it just shows up on the terminal you can practice this now how do we check whether this is working or not so let me show you to verify how this works so now this is my setup and this is my Arduino so if you see guys in, 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 in Arduino the board carefully if you notice there are two small leds rx and tx can you see it's blinking with a uh, with a time uh, delay can you see that now if you press the keyboard as per the terminal what it says u i o kind of thing it should ideally receive the message from the keyboard okay to receive and transmit so your tx led should, should glow bright let me bring it a little closer so that you guys can see 
okay now let me press u oh can you see that can you see that can you see that guys how 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 bright is glowing now let me take it out it stopped let me press again can you see that can you see that the rx and the tx will not glow the rx yes now let me press i okay it's taking the i command on the keyboard and the k command is basically to stop the motor k i am pressing k continuously is glowing again u all right both the leds i m n u all right i i hope you can see this clearly right see now it is stopped now let me press u terminal u uh, uh, key from the keyboard again there you go all right now what we can do so guys you you now you are getting the signal from your keyboard through teleop you are able to communicate and give a command but you can use only those specified key on the terminal right like the one which is mentioned here uh the ones which are mentioned here right so you you can use any of these keys to control and now what we need to do in the next upcoming lessons i am going to show it's it's a pretty basic how to connect your l298 uh, uh driver or any other driver you might want to use there are multiple motor drivers guys so you can pick up any of the low cost like 200 300 bucks one rupees Uh, you can uh, i'll show you how to connect I'll, i'll also leave the pin drawings and you need to use some of the digital pins uh, probably four or five digital pins from arduino connect to your driver and maybe give another 7 7 and a half volt uh, current uh, the voltage to the driver with two motors and i'll show you how to control through the keyboard it's very simple because we are now getting the signal in arduino so obviously your setup environment is absolutely working great no issues at all all we need to do is just connect the driver the motors power up boom give the supply and you can drive around <laughs> so that's it for this lesson guys i hope you are enjoying and do give me a thumbs up and a like i am going to get back to you soon bye bye